I thought we could do a little dive into it right now. Do any of you guys have any theories about, or do any of you know what this means, or have any ideas about what it might mean? Sure. It means like your heart tubes and like your heart. It has to do with it. It has to do with your heart. It has to do with your heart and your heart tubes. Okay, can you be more clear on that? What do you mean heart tubes? Like, it's very descriptive. What do like you mean by heart tubes? Like the stuff that um, brings like the blood to your body. Arteries. Do you guys have any ideas what this word about this word? Any ideas about the past this word? Any theories about different elements in it? Do you, do you think you might know what the base or a base in it could be? Remember, this is just a hypothesis. You, you may have no idea, and that's fine. Or you may just you might have just looking at it, you might have some ideas. Um, can you spell the piece that you, the, the element you're talking about? What do you think about that? Um, what, do you, what do you think about that, Ryan? So Ryan is suggesting that maybe C A R D. What? Why have you said that, Ryan? Any reason? Well, it is a base. It is a base. Yeah. What do you think that base means? Um, does that feel like it's related, maybe, to this? Word here no. in meaning. No. It's clearly no. related in the way there's the spelling is here, right? C A R D, and as Ryan pointed out, we notice it's C A R D right here. Does it feel related in meaning? No. It's a little funny. Okay, but that was, that's definitely a connection there. Caleb, what do you know? I think that the, the base is um, cardio. Yeah. Oh, why do you think that? And what is your thinking? Well, first of all, could you spell it? Instead of just saying, could you spell what you're thinking? Um, and why do you think that did it? Um, because, um, because my dad knows a lot Do you know what, what specifically he's talking about when he refers to cardio? Um, no. Not sure. You would like to create a word sum for that word? Do you want to propose, hypothesize what the word sum could be? Okay, what would you share the word sum with you? Do we think there's anything happening with these joints? No. Okay. As they are anyway. What did she just do before she went on to B? She paused, right? Yes. Okay, so that is that this is a hypothesis that Emmy has as to the structure of this word. Okay, and that was really cool that you wanted to jump in there and demonstrate that with a word study. Uh, Alex, thank you for raising your hand. Could you be even more specific? Could you spell out the precise piece that you think you're going to Yeah, so you're noticing that here. And you're noticing it here. It's interesting. But right now, the only part of this word that we've really felt comfortable looking at is the front part. That's interesting. Vascular could be the um, base. Oh, 
So right now we're operating on the assumption because we noticed this, which we thought was maybe not related. And then Caleb noticed this, so I guess maybe some of us are operating on the assumption that this might be the base of the word. But Alex, you're proposing that. Well, what do you think would be the base of the word? E A S T E L A Y. Why? Do you have any reason why you're saying that? Sure. You're just putting it out there. It's just a theory. Like yes. we don't, you don't know enough. So you don't know where the where the or a base is within this particular word. Okay. Um, Anton. I I can prove that vascular is the base. You okay? Uh, can I repeat it? Anton's gonna. Anton thinks he has a, hope, uh, a theory as to why vascular is the base. Okay. So it's the same, but then D is You're noticing that this part of the word and this part of the word have different spelling. Okay. But bases usually can take more than one word. Like, like, let's let's say, like, like s in the like the s doesn't really go with like it goes with fear, chair. So you, do you know what I just noticed there is that you you are you are showing that we could use the same suffix with different bases. Uh -huh. So could could this also be a different? If this isn't a base, what else could it be? It could be a suffix. But you're noticing that this element and this element are the same, and they could either be a base or some kind of suffix. Luke, can you search up what other words start with that and with? Okay, we can do that. Do you want to have a look at the other words? Yeah. So, Anton, what did you specifically request when you say, can we look up something? Can we look up what other words end with basket? Okay, so he is not and can you be more specific? Can you spell oh, out? Oh, no. Can, can, can we look up any other words that have vascular in it? Oh, so I'm going to go, those are two different queries. Because, because that may be the suffix. But you said... First thing, where does V A S C U L A R? Um, what other words does it occur in at the end? And we can specifically do that. If I put that in here, V A S C U L A R, and then I have a symbol which says include the symbol at the end to match the end of a word. So it's a dollar sign, right? Which has nothing to do with the meaning here. It's just the way the computer works. And if I do that, huh, let me look at that. Interesting. What did it come up with? Cardiovascular. And? Vascular. Sorry, right here. Sorry, I didn't explain that. This is where the results are. Emmy. Cardiovascular and vascular. Now, do we see this word here? No. No. That's a really intriguing question. Now, guess what? This is a computer program and it does a lot of things, but a human has to put the data in. I wonder, do we feel like this should have come up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Here's something that's interesting. I took away the dollar sign. Which meant it was just looking at the end of a word, and look what it returned. Ah. So the only word in the whole list that Word Searcher has that has V A S C U L A R in it are the words vascular and cardiovascular. So 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 Alex. So vascular is the base because if if vascular was a suffix or a prefix, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a word. Ding ding ding. Okay, so clearly that means some part of this element here has to be a base. Otherwise, could it exist without? No. Okay. So that that adds a little bit of intrigue. So now we're thinking: is that a base? Okay. Okay, uh, okay. Um, I think it might be a compound word, because if my dad was using the word cardio, um, it couldn't be a prefix on its own. So, okay. Caleb, 
Caleb is saying cardio, cardio is, is, a, is a word that his dad uses. Okay, he just uses it. it does it have vascular when he says it? No. Not always, right? He can say cardio. And did we just establish vascular as a base? Yes. yes. Okay, so what does that mean? If we take that base away, you say, well, that means that he, his hypothesis is cardiovascular must be a compound word. Who can raise a hand and share what he means by compound word? We've talked about it in passing. Anna, what's a compound word? A word that's made out of two bases. Okay, so a word that has more than one base would be a compound word. Anya. Right, so it could be that thing that we call an eclipse. I can't remember the word it came up with, but I definitely spoke to you. It could be this idea of a clip, right? Taxi. Where we have a long word. Taxi. Oh, we briefly talked about taxi. So you have this idea of a, a clip where you have a longer word, like taximeter, but then it's just much more convenient for us to say taxi. But then it's a little funny when you investigate it because really it's a, a just a convenient, shorter piece of a longer word. So what Anya is saying is it could be almost like a nickname or a shortcut for saying cardiovascular and that is that. That's a possibility as well, that's a good hypothesis. It says cardio, C-A-R-D-I-O, and then it says before vowels, C-A-R-D-I. So that means before vowels are attached to it, the actual element should be C-A-R-D-I. Well, we're not going to, we're not going to pronounce it because we don't know if that exists, right? As its own word. So we're going to spell it. We're going to share it through a spelling. D I. And then it gives us some history, some of the real etymology. It's from Latinized form of the Greek word cardia, which means heart. Okay. Can you look up heart? Do you think that's going to help us right now with understanding? The, this, uh, the spelling of this word. Well, wait, etymology. We're going deep through time. And cardio means heart. So if we look up heart, it's still on topic. Just we're learning about the real, real far history. So that could be our goal. Our goal could be to keep following a word back and back and back to find out where its ultimate root is. We call that the root. Yeah. Right? But right now, like we can stop. We can stop going down the root trail at Greek because we're really interested in understanding how this whole word works together. Okay? And what's interesting here is it makes a point of saying C A R D I. So we suddenly realize, even though we commonly have C A R D I O, in this particular word, C A R D I is the important element. Okay? What part of this word does it leave us scratching our heads about? Oh. Oh. In Greek and Latin words, we can often have compound words. Okay, and they're actually really common in our language, where we have English words that use Greek and Latin, either Latin, sometimes all Latin, sometimes all Greek, and in this case, possibly a mix. Um, but they use bases that are from, have roots in Greek and Latin. When we make compound words in English using those bases, we need something called a connecting vowel often. And in this case, our connecting vowel is. Uh, oh. So, so it is a compound word. 